What's up guys, this is Hatai7RCT bringing you another video for you guys. Now this one is going to be a quickie, that's why I said it to be a short but sweet one. Uh, although it might not necessarily be completely true because I do uh, intend to show you guys a little bit of a difference in the gameplay between the title that I am talking about today which is Mario Kart Arcade DX. Now this title of course is to be played with uh, Techno Parrot uh, emulator which I already have configured in, in my HyperPi but the version that I have is in Japanese and as good as the game is you know it would be nice to have uh, some translation or way to play it in English and uh, uh, without my knowledge of it there is an existing way to play it and it was brought up to, m to my attention by a user named Haunt Freaks in uh, the CoinOps Discord. Thanks buddy for giving me the heads up and he gave me the link to a guy on YouTube who has this or had this quite some time already and uh, you can go there I'm gonna leave the uh, the details in the description below the link so you can go to his original video but the gist of it basically is you need to have the dump of the game first and foremost it's a little smallish here but you know uh, this is basically the file that you need you need to be running the version 10 now once extracted you're gonna see these files right here these are all the files that are gonna be here now aside from that you also need the English patch uh, I'm gonna use the one that, that he used basically what you do you extract it and once extracted what you do is you open it up I'm using the desktop you can do this you know wherever and just run it and basically this right here is gonna ask you for the folder where the game is at so you, it's gonna be asking for the exit file you point to it select it open it and it's gonna do its own thing now once that is done as it say here that is done and everything is patched and nice you take this the the game folder itself and you put it wherever it is you put the other games that you have for um, running in, in through Techno Parrot. So once you open this here, you open the program, you run it, and you're gonna have this. You have to go into game settings and set up with the provided link that he gave you, which is a, a Techno Parrot um, website. You go there and you register and you get an account number, which is gonna be your own private number for uh, uh, to to authorize it's gonna be your personal number and once you have that and you already did the settings for the game the controls and stuff like that then you go ahead and you run the game now I'm gonna run it from here and not from the hyperpie just to show you guys the process that involves It's gonna do the checks. Now here you can enter tech, uh, the test mode. Test mode, you have to remember to set the button or the joystick on the controller that you want to use it because you're gonna need it here. It does it does all the checks and stuff. Right now it's trying to authorize, but I can't go in to do the things that you need to do in order to get this working. Okay, so it appears offline. That means I need to go into the test screen. And the only chance I get to do that is right after this part. After the now loading part. Where you're going to see a screen that represents the kind of like the splash screen of the modders who did the English translation. Right here. 
this is the test manual that you're looking for. Basically here, if you set the controllers, uh, the controls on the controller to navigate this shouldn't be a problem. Um, you can have a button which is the start button, the switch start button. And with that one, you just go into, and this, all of this is going to be set the, the default settings is going to be with numbers and stuff and you just want to make all of this zero zero credits for everything free play activated be sure that's on and go back and in game options you need to make sure that the car vendor is off everything below the ICRW need to be off if you try to mess with this it's not going to boot correctly the only thing that needs to be on on this screen is this top one this top option right here if it's not activated now you go back it's a little touchy there you go that is the only thing you need to mess with don't touch anything else and then press the same button that brought you here the test button and let it reboot now once that is set all you have to do is just go into the game either by using the launcher or in my case I'll be running it through HyperPy go in here this is my Sega Ring one I have the Triforce on this side this is where I have the other arcade GPs In this case, we need to go into this one. And that's actually the first one that appears out of the list here. So yeah, let's go for it. Loading. Loading complete. And here we have the game, guys. nice English text to let us know what's going on not completely necessary but it's pretty cool to see it this way they did a great job to integrate you know the, the text and some of the pictures and some of the stuff that's going on the game is a later version too meaning that some of the stuff that wasn't included in the previous version in the uh, Japanese early version that I had like uh, for example the boost you're gonna see notice that the boost does have play here which I mentioned that it did back in that first version but enough of me talking let me show you guys you, the only difference is that the other one that I had the earlier version did not did not have or actually had all of the stuff unlocked and like the power-ups and stuff like that they were all unlocked which is not in this case but I don't know there's something about this one that feels better actually the other one had a complete up to I think 200 cc I think it was but I feel that this one is more much more complete let's try the Bowser Jr. No, Charlie Mario This one is boring. Let's go with this one. So everything from the loading screens are completely in English. And the most important part, which is of course the gameplay, it feels very different feels much much quicker much more like the regular entries that we're accustomed to on the consoles actually
grows the boost. Uh, actually, now when you turn into curves and you hold it, you charge up a meter, and as soon as you straighten out, that meter activates, giving you at least an edge. Because before... And now for some reason it's actually running at a higher frame rate than when playing normally. I don't know if that's a result of me recording that's actually making this do that, but... I like it this fast, to be honest. Gotcha. As I was saying, now the boost, you get a meter, a visual meter, that if you hold on, after breaking, you hold on to that, it'll boost either automatically or if you hold on to it and you charge it up to three, you get a huge and very long boost. Oh yeah, I'm rocking this one. That was a close one. I got a level two there. in my hand I didn't lose it. Oh. You still get the Japanese voice but at least now everything has its own yeah English text and of course you can turn the option of turning off the camera and stuff is really good. Got a nice little track unlock. Let me do one more race here so I can end the video. Bonus stuff. All right, so I got a new weapon to use. No, nah, I'll keep this one. Yes, I would. Let's go to the next stage. Let's keep this to make it brief. Because 
Let's do the second round. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Get out of my way. Get out of my way. I'm on. Gotcha, Bowser. Ah, I missed the power up. Come on, come on, come on. There you go. Come on, almost there. Wait a second, I'm back. So you got the idea guys, the game is much more enjoyable this way. So yeah guys, that's gonna be all for today. Like I said, I wanted to keep it short but sweet. So thank you guys for watching, please like and subscribe if you enjoy this. Let me know if there's another game like this that you would like me to cover. Do it in a future video. Take care, guys.